What is up guys and welcome back to our Road to Go Crew Mode with Sheffield United, episode number 15. And first up, we have Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. And to be fair, recently, well not recently, but when I've kind of played Bournemouth on FIFA, I don't really do very well against them. I don't know why, it just for some reason we don't really do well. And uh, it's a bit annoying really, especially when we come to their stadium, the Vit Vitality. So, uh, you know, this game... I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, but it's not going to go well. It, well, not it's not going to go bad, but it, it's just a really bad, bad game. It was just all them first half, especially. It was all them most game. So, um, you know, not a lot of action from us. Uh, you know, not a lot of chance from us. It's already half-time. There's only been two chances, and they've both been crap, really. Half-time, I didn't have a shot. So, it just shows you how bad we're playing. They were kind of more on top of us with possession. And then, when it came to the second half, you know, we weren't any better. Um, I'm surprised Bournemouth actually, you know, didn't score. Look at that chance from a phobia. How did that not go in? And then he actually had another chance a bit later on, um, where I thought he should have maybe scored again. So, you know, lucky for us, they weren't taking their chances, which I was quite happy with. And, like I said, in the end, it ended 0-0. So, you know, a really crap game from us. We didn't really show up, we just didn't, and they played loads, loads better. But anyway, you know, when you come away against Bournemouth as a newly promoted team to League One, and as they're a newly relegated team, they still have a lot of Premier League players, so, you know, to be fair, I'm not really angry with the result. I'll take a 0-0, I'll take a point if you come away to a ground like that, because, you know, they are a really good team, and still got a lot of players that they had in the Premier League. But anyway, again... It was the Sheffield Derby. This time it was actually away. So, you know, we was hoping... The thing is, we played them away last time and we actually won here at the at Hillsborough, well, obviously. I wish Hillsborough was on this game. It'd be so sick if Hillsborough was on FIFA. It just looked like such a... You know, Hillsborough's a really big stadium and it just looks sick if, if we were on this game. But, um, you, know, you know, we actually got a penalty. Now, Chris Wood... He ain't had the best of kind of starts for Sheffield United since he's joined. He hasn't been too good. And his form, well, his bad form kind of keeps up because he goes and misses that penalty. Westwood uh, going the same way and saving it. So, we're nil-nil. But second half, we kind of came out of the block straight away. And uh, it's one of the smallest players on the pitch, one of my players, John Fleck, the ginger, actually gets him with a header. So, he puts us 1-0 up. But like I was saying, last season, we actually played Sheffield Wednesday twice because we played him in the EFL Cup, the same cup as this one. And um, we drew at home and then we won away. So, I was thinking, oh, you know, we might do well. We might do well. You know, we haven't lost them so far. But um, it was kind of a, a different story this time. They were pushing and I could kind of tell that a goal were coming. I mean, well done for Ramsdale for getting up there. But 90th minute. Now, when we played them at home, they scored in the 86th. And when we played them now, they scored in the 90th for basically the last kick of the game. I mean, come on, guys. Stop doing this to me. This time it was Barry Bannon. I can't remember who it was last time, but uh, just so annoying. Why can't my defence hold out? I brought Harry Maguire on to see if he could kind of bolster up that defence, but it actually backfired because it hit him and went in. I don't know if Ramsdale actually could have saved that or not if he went in the way, but... Anyway, that the game ended basically the final kick of the match, and uh, it went on to extra time. Now, extra time, it wasn't too good for us, as you see. They, we kick the ball out, they kind, they win it. Basically, up my on my box already, and I mean, oh my god, what a goal from Gary Hooper! Ramsdale's not saving that. No, he's not saving that. No goalkeeper in the history would probably save that effort unless they were stood in that position. But oh, it's just a cracker, isn't it? It's just a brilliant, brilliant goal. Probably the best goal I've conceded so far in the screen mode, actually. And Gary Hooper, I take my hat off to you. You've just won the game for them. So, you know, very disappointing. I mean, as I see, Chris Wood, he had a, f a good chance there. We actually uh, did press on a bit later on in the game. We had a few chances, created a, f a few of our own, but we just couldn't score. And that penalty miss, what Chris Wood missed in the first half, kind of came you know, back on us, and in the end, we lost the game, so, you know, very disappointing, without the route of the EFL Cup, we actually won it last year, yeah, and that's why we're in the Europa League uh, qualifiers now, so, you know, very disappointing, but, you know, hopefully we can try and win this trophy this year, yeah. and I don't know how we are in this competition, but we actually played them last episode away at Torino, and we actually got a 1-0 um, goal advantage, so we are, on aggregate, winning 1-0, but the only thing is, you know, if Torino get two goals, if I get, you know, I, I can't let them get two goals. Because if they get two goals, 
I'm out and that's it. So, you know, we, if they scored one, then I had to defend really well. And to be fair, early on, they were pushing. They came out to play. They did not want to go out of this competition to a championship side. And, you know, in the 40th minute, it came, in it? Look, they're down the right, the crosses it in, and it's just, you know, no one's marking him. He just goes to the ball, no one follows him, and Bella Tolly, I think that's how you say his name, Bella Bello Titi, I don't know, I really don't know, but um, yeah, he just was ripping me to shreds this game, and as you see, he gets his reward and gets his first goal in the competition in the 45th minute, Bellotti, that's it, Bellotti, but yeah, half time, went 1-0 down, I wasn't too bothered actually, because I thought, right, Torino, they're a lot better side than us, they're gonna they're gonna come and play. They're gonna come and show their talent. I just need to get a goal and not concede a second goal. So you know I was pushing on a bit, looking at a good chance. Should have really scored. And then with that header, a bit of a weird save he made out, like his hands flapping everywhere. But uh, anyway, again, look, Luckman had another chance. We were really pushing, and I was so surprised how we hadn't scored in the 90th minute. Look, Chris Wood again, and then we go and hit the post again. I mean, what is that here? What is that? But, you know, extra time now again. And we know what happened last game in extra time. We lost 2-1 one by a cracker. But this time, Kaelin Lavery. Now, I brought him on um, in the game against Torino away. In the 90th minute, he got himself a goal. And I brought him on again, and he got himself another goal. So, I mean, he puts us 2-1 up in extra time. I'm not kidding you. Kaelin Lavery, for some reason, when he starts, he's crap. But when I bring him off the bench, he just gets... So many goals, I just don't know why. He's such an impact player, and that's why I probably haven't sell him yet, even though I've got so many strikers. Because to be fair, he does actually score. Ojo had a good chance there, should have maybe scored it. But the main thing was, we'd won the game, well, we hadn't won the game, but we drew the game, guys. And that went, we're into the actual knockout stages, which is sick. But anyway, Jamie Murphy. Now, if you've ever asked to try and buy him, uh, I will go in for, for January. I did put a bid in, but I didn't want to pay 1.3 million. Um, I had other plans to buy on other players. You'll see in a minute after we... Uh, well, see in a second. You'll see now after we won chat on 3 0. But uh, Ebans, Le, Ebans Ben Lendl, whatever his name is, um, we secured a deal for 600k, offered him a contract, and he would actually sign. Now, I had this guy on uh, last season, he was actually pretty good, but he didn't really get in the side because of like, Basham and them. So, he won't get in the second eleven this time, but you know when Basham starts to decrease because he's getting old, that guy will probably come in and be a good player because I do actually quite like him. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like button, subscribe if you are new, and guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.